Now there is this screenshot of uh, types available where you can you can take screenshot of the full screen or the partial screenshot also where you can customize well you can select uh, well, the screenshot short, screenshot shortcut and you can select what all area you want to take a screenshot of and it does take the screenshot of that area alone that is really appreciated uh, I really like this one because that really makes uh, cropping photos which I want to take a screenshot of really easy for me so that's really cool power menu settings can also be customized here so you do have all of these optional levers lockdown shortcut flashlight all of that can be accessed from the power menu so that's really cool to have the notification option you do have four six fan notification show notification count which i personally was not able to get working so yeah that is a work in progress tickers are available where uh, where you will find a ticker here whenever an whenever an event happens so that's really cool you can customize how it looks how the icon colors are how the text colors are so that's really cool to have notification LED is working and there is a charging led all of that is working i really really appreciate that so yeah in the button customization settings, uh, this is where it let me down a little bit because I personally customize all the, uh, well, most of the uh, buttons on the hardware button. So I double tap my home button for uh, the screen to go off. I don't have an option here in build. I will have to go for a third party application if there is any. I've not been able to find any without Expose. So yeah, Expose is not available on 7.1 yet. So that is a something which I would say lacking because all the other ROMs does have that. Even stock Oxygen OS has that. So I would like to have that on this ROM. But besides that, you do have volume button wake, music control, and keyboard cursor control, which is all essential features for me. So yeah. Rest, almost everything is basically same. You do have gestures where you have double tap to sleep, the status bar, double tap to wake the screen, gestures for uh, camera button. So that is also there. Also motion gestures are available, which is, uh, which is linked with the ambient display. And that does work out really nicely. I have been using that. And that is really nice to have. I do use that a lot because most of the time my phone is on the table. I have to just wave my hand over the phone to see if there's a notification and see the time. So that is really amazing. Now there are also the other gestures which is basically one plus specific gestures which you, by which you can draw a V for the flashlight, circle for the camera and all that in the middle and that is really working. I really do appreciate that. Uh, there is additional buttons for the uh, swap button which is a notification slider and there you can swap the buttons if you are coming from Samsung or any of the other ones. So yeah and the alert slider is working. I am truly a fan of the other slider and that is something which I consider myself to be using a lot and I will not be using any ROM without the other sliders. Apart from that almost everything is basically the same. I will show you guys the development option. Uh, there aren't many differences. There is stay awake. There is picture mode which is sRGB it does not work so that doesn't really apply. There is root access which is a CM root access and it is available. I have been using that. Uh, debugging all that is available. There is the uh, transition and uh, well the animation scale customization and you can customize it with a slider so that's really cool to have and yeah these are the stuff which I really appreciate and uh, I would like to see in any ROM. Now the stock launcher with which it comes is called the Luna launcher and uh, it is sort of the uh, Google experience launcher which you were using yeah, it's kind of like that uh, it works uh, I don't really use that much I do use Nova on the on here so here is the entity to benchmark score which I received with this phone which is about uh, 149,000 which is almost what you expect out of a ROM like this. It is a 7.1 ROM. You get all the uh, extra stuff and it does work out really nicely. I really like that. Let me show you guys the boot animation which is pretty cool. So here is the boot animation for AOS CP and uh, it is a minimal ROM with a, with a small kind of a logo I would say that is a logo and uh, yeah it is a minimal boot animation for you to say that this is a USCP so yeah so there you have it that is what I have been using as my daily driver and it's really cool um, the battery life let me show you guys the battery life um, I am really impressed with the battery life of uh, no get ROMs uh, because simply because it does outlive CM13 ROMs. CM14 is really cool for you guys to have. And uh, well, there is the advanced option where you have embedded percentage and that doesn't work. Side by percentage can be here and that can work. And yeah, that's just there. Battle light can be customized. I can easily go over one day full without charge on this ROM. And that is a really, really great feature to have. Now you can see that the battle life here is well just 10 hours. That is because I was gaming full time on it and uh, it only depleted up to 8%.
and I didn't even f- charge it fully. It was at about 84%, I guess, and 84% to 8%. So that was my daily usage. So I'm really impressed with it. Uh, CM13 does not last that long. If I game uh, entirely, uh, that will be depleted by the end of the day. So yeah, that's uh, that's just there. Now the camera. Now it does come with two cameras, which is uh, this one is the stock camera, which is a Google-ish camera, which you will get with any other uh, NuGet ROM. It works, but there is the, uh, well, the exposed overexposed photograph problem so you do have that issue with that and also there is this camera which is kind of like the cm based camera you do have more options there and uh, you do have the chroma flash and uh, you do have uh, stuff like that to get over the um well decidedly problematic flash mode so you can actually have that issue sorted in here and this was better in my opinion than the normal stock camera but there are occasional freezes in this camera, so I wouldn't recommend that as your daily camera option. So I am using footage camera because that has been working for me entirely and I have had, I haven't had any issues with that. So I really appreciate that. And, uh, yeah, that is something which I really, really do like. So I guess that should be it about the camera. Dash charging does work. I was thrown into a frenzy when the dash charging was not working. It, I seemed like it was not working, but that was mainly because, uh, the phone was really hot. Uh, it was at about 46 degrees the battery and the phone was controlling it uh, I thought it wasn't working but it is working uh, it's not a problem I have gotten up to 3500 milliamps charging on this phone so that's really cool to have yeah I guess that much is it about this ROM then it is a really basic but really cool ROM on the 7.1 space I do want to use this as my daily driver but the only problem which I can see in this ROM is the problem with button customization that's the biggest problem i have because i don't use the power button a lot i use the home button double tap to sleep my phone that doesn't work with this without a third-party application and i haven't been able to find a third-party application for that so yeah just so you guys know i guess how much is it about this rom then uh hope you guys like the video please share, subscribe and like the video if you found it useful see you guys next time bye